Oh my God, this is what I will tell everyone is that there's two different identities out there. You're choosing pain later and not yeah. wanting to go through the pain now. Like that to me, those are those two personalities. And David Goggins just completely owns pain now to the yeah. extreme. It, there's a lot there. He's just gonna talk for two seconds about self-talk, visualization, and just the kind of person that David Goggins is. He's put himself through a serious amount of hell. Self-talk and visualization are the two keys to my success. I believed for that last time, 19 miles, I was indestructible. Because I took myself in that chair, crapping up my back, peeing blood in my leg, shin splints, stress fractures. I use all that for motivation versus negativity. I use it for motivation. I, I said to myself, who on this fucking earth would still be going right now? Right. You are. You are. You gotta be the hardest motherfucker on the planet. Is it true? I don't give a fuck. At that time, right. it got me to the finish line of that fucking race. I believed it. I believe it today. I believed it enough to where my body said, he's not gonna stop. And that's, I took all the negative things, I need to go to the hospital, this and that, and I used it all. Who the hell could even get on that chair? You did. Who the hell would even think about taping stretch factors up? You did. All those things I used for motivation. He's such a good example of like, I was literally like his, bra his bones were breaking. His whole body was breaking down and he was pushing himself to do, what was it, 100 miles yeah. in uh, 24, 24 hours. hours. It just, so extreme and he'd never done it before. It was such a, a pushing moment that his brain actually went, hold on, you have so much more in your reserve tank than you realize. And then you now embody the identity of someone that pushes themselves through pain. And yeah, and it's just something that he did to kind of conquer his demons from the past, you right. know, like this was kind of a moment for him or this whole series in life, you know, right. and it's like a lot of young people go through that of like, all right, I gotta go conquer something. I gotta go stick something out. Right. Not for the damn thing. Who cares about running 100 miles? I know. You know? It's he, not. He, he didn't. It's about how can I push through something because usually I'm the type of person that when adversity and hard times and laziness come, I give in and I run away. Right. All right, so this next segment, I want to talk about this just for two seconds before we get started here. He is absolutely somebody that had figured out how to use pain to to build to, to for fuel. And that he's like using the negativity in the environment. A lot of people will talk about like they're affected by the negativity in their environment. Get the haters out of your life. I can only deal. I can only do if my environment is happy. Therefore, I'm happy. He switched it. He turned it completely on its head. And now he yeah. uses the negativity for his gain. Nothing can stop you at that right. point. So many people are afraid of the negative. What power have you found in the darkness? First, before I answer that question, I want to say everybody listen to this. Um, I'm the happiest man on the planet. So people may take this and as so many people do. We live in a very weakened society. So when they hear a throwback guy like me from back in the ancient days of, <laughs> of Garanimals, they often think this guy is just whatever. So if you think that I'm some unhappy guy, you're wrong. Having lived the life I've lived and seeing the other side, not being afraid to attack what was in front of me has made me happy. Say that again. In fact, let me make sure I understood it. Getting to the point where you're not afraid to face the thing on the other side of the door that wants to attack you has made you happy. Right. Right. It's really powerful. I hope people heard that. Right. That made me very happy. So what got me through horrible times was the dark side. Was I created, my name is David Goggins. I created Goggins. Goggins is the guy that can take anything you put in front of him. You want to break my motherfucking legs? So be it. I have a way of going to a place like I did in that race where all the pain and suffering that they put on top of me in Hell Week, I will reverse that pain and suffering and I will take your soul. So every instructor that put me through buds, my job, what drove me, was I wanted you to go home that night after you beat the living shit out of me and I smiled in your face. And I want you to think about when you went through fucking Hell Week, how uncomfortable you were and how bad you wanted to quit, knowing I'm not thinking that fucking way. So the dark side is something that I've designed. It's an evil place I can go that very few things can hurt me. I use the hurt you're trying to put on me, I flip it upside down and use it. You trying to use it for kryptonite? No, it's power pellets for me. I'm, I'm using it for strength. I just flip negative into positive, that's all it is. I took David's story, this this happened to me way back in the day, like he was one of those people where you're just like, oh, I'm just not like that. I, I'm not that kind of crazy. I'm not that kind of intense type of person. But when you're going through the suck is what he calls it, like when you're going through the hell on a day to day to day basis, you realize there really is only one way to kind of be yeah. able to manage that. You would have to start being able to use the motivation of negativity to push through the hell because you don't have anything else. You don't have hearts and flowers waiting for you. You have hell and that's still energy. And being able to take that kind of energy and use it for your good 
again, you, you become happy because there is nothing that is now in your world, nothing in your environment that is stronger than your internal world. It really does work. How's this for motivation? Are you man enough to wear <laughs> lime green short shorts on the Tom Tom show, facing camera two, head on? That is a real man right there, with his fucking shoes untied. I know, right? Uh, that's good. I'm glad yeah. you noticed that. Out of all things, yeah, just a little observer, a little observer freak out there. Okay.